Valley Hardware? Yes, I'm calling to see if you sell blasting caps, detonators, timers, and wire. Just the wire? Okay, forget it. Do you rent bulldozers or backhoes? No, no, a rototiller won't do it all. I need something more like a wrecking ball. Do you know where I could get anything like that? No? Okay. Goodbye, then. Looks like another boring day, Hobbs. Tires are great, they're the toast of the town. Life's always better when a tiger is around. Considering I outrank you, I don't think I should have to do that. What can I say? I don't make the rules, buddy. I just tell you what they are. And make the occasional revision, of course. Whatever, man. Just let me up. Okay. That took you way too long to get up here. Just saying. This meeting of the top secret club known as G-R-O-S-S, -S, Get Rid of Slimy Girls, will come to order Supreme Dictator for Life, Calvin Presiding. All salute. Okay, the first order of business, President and First Tiger Hobbs, will read the minutes of our last meeting. <clears throat> Hops. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 10.30 a.m. Read minutes of the previous meeting. 10.31. Debated the so-called editorial slant of the minutes. Much nonsense and commotion from Dictator for Life. Nonsense! 1032, President and First Tiger offers a reasonable solution. Reasonable solution? You told me to jump in a lake. <clears throat> but Dictator for Life takes needless exception. 1033, blows exchanged. Dictator for Life receives comeuppance. Ha! I beat you fair and square. These minutes are nothing but lies. I know you did not just imply that I am a liar. By golly, I'll call you worse than that. <laughs> Moron! Chowderhead! Fleabag! <laughs> truce? <laughs> yeah, truce. Hey, Hobbs, do you know where babies come from? Nope. Well, I wonder how one would find out. Here, let me see the back of your shirt. You came from Taiwan. Mild-mannered Calvin is stuck inside, doing math problems on a beautiful mm. Sunday. Mm. No one is watching. He dashes into the closet. This is a job for stupendous man, defender of freedom, advocate of liberty. A crimson streak blasts through the atmosphere and then turns back toward Earth. Gaining stupendous momentum, stupendous man strikes the ground at an acute angle with stupendous force. The Earth suddenly stops rotating and begins to turn the opposite direction. Pushing with all of his might, stupendous man turns the planet all the way around backwards. The sun sets in the east and rises in the west. Soon, it is 10 a.m. the previous day. Calvin, what are you doing outside? Did you finish your homework already? It's Saturday. I don't need to do it until tomorrow, thanks to Stupendous Man! Uh, Dad? What's this disgusting slimy blob? Try it, Calvin. You might end up loving it. Oh, yeah? Well, what if I don't love it? Well, then it'll build character. Well, that's my dad. Always looking out for me. 
I can never enjoy Sundays because in the back of my mind, I always know I've got to go to school the next day. It's like trying to enjoy your last meal before the execution. A penny for your thoughts? Sorry, my thoughts are a buck a piece. A dollar? That's outrageous. Your thoughts are not worth that. This one is. At a dollar, it's the burden of a lifetime. I wouldn't pay a nickel for any thought you've ever had in your whole flea-ridden existence. That little remark just made the price ten dollars. Ten? You can't extort me. Keep your stupid thought. If you knew what it was, you'd beg to pay ten bucks for it. Come on, just tell me what it is, will ya? Nothing doing, pal. Okay, okay, I'll give you 25 cents, but that's all I have. Well, let's see it then. Here, 25 cents. Now what's this big, expensive thought of yours? Okay. A fool and his money are soon parted. <laughs> Santa, this year I don't want any gifts. I just want love and peace for my fellow man. Hey, Hobbs, check out my letter to Santa. Huh. You don't want any gifts this year? Well, of course I do. It's reverse psychology. Kind of risky, don't you think? <sighs> On window panes, the icy frost leaves feathered patterns crisp and crossed. But in our house, the Christmas tree is decorated festively with tiny dots of colored light that cozy up this winter night. Christmas songs, familiar slow, play softly on the radio. Pops and hisses from the fire, whistled with the bells and choir. My tiger is now fast asleep on his back and dreaming deep. When the fire makes him hot, he turns to worm whatever's not. Propped against him on the rug, I give my friend a gentle hug. Tomorrow's what I am waiting for, but I can wait a little more. Yep, Christmas is just around the corner. And what better way to celebrate a religious holiday than with a month of frenzied consumerism? I'm surprised other religions haven't picked up on that. Well, all I know is getting loads of loot is a very spiritual experience for me. Hey, Hobbs. What if there is no Santa Claus? You know, a lot of this Santa stuff is hard to believe. The flying reindeer, going around the road in one night, the whole chimney bit. What if it's all some cruel hoax and I'm being good for nothing? You've always been good for nothing. <laughs> if he exists, Santa will forgive this one. Uh, Hobbs? I forgot to get you a present. I didn't even make you a card. I'm sorry, Hobbs. I didn't mean to forget. It's okay, little buddy. I didn't get you anything either. But here's a tiger hug for being my best friend. Not so hard, you big sissy. You squeezed my tears out. Merry Christmas. We are a fierce, dirty band of cutthroat pirates. Keep a sharp lookout, matey. We want no sissy girls in our ship. Wait. We don't like girls? Of course not, dummy. We're a murderous bunch of pirates, remember? Well then, who do we smooch? I'm hungry. When's lunch? Right now. Hi, Susie. Oh, look. You've got your stuffed tiger. Can I squeeze him? What? Are you crazy? Hobbs is a ferocious, man-eating jungle beast. Ferocious? He looks fuzzy and cuddly to me. Ha! Ah, beneath that soft exterior lie terrible mandibles of bone-crushing death. He'll grind you in a hamburger. Each mighty paw hides razor-sharp claws to rip the living hide off any human that wanders too close. He's a monster! No, he's not. He's a big cutie. Oh no! I can't look! 
So what happened to the mandibles of death, you sissy furball? I was beguiled by her feminine charms. Ha! Go soak your head. Spaceman!